Roller skis are a great training tool and many people use them to maintain their cross-country ski skills through the summer and fall. But you can also really improve your cross-country skiing using roller skis so that when you start out the new ski season you are way ahead of where you left off last winter. So let's look at some problem areas for skiers who want to improve their diagonal stride. Some of my most popular YouTube videos over the past couple of years have been related to correcting the shuffle and the lunge in classic skiers. Both the shuffle and the lunge are very common and the majority of classic skiers that I see through the winter do one or the other. This is what they look like on pavement while roller skiing. I call this shuffling since in this case my rear ski never leaves the ground. Also note that I am quite upright. It is more of a walking motion than a skiing action. In this case I demonstrate the lunge and note how my lead foot gets way ahead of my body and I again I'm quite upright. To correct these errors let's have a quick look at how classic roller skis work and you can see in this demonstration that the front wheel will roll forward when the ski is moving forward but when I draw the ski back the front wheel locks giving you traction against the pavement. So just like in snow skiing where the leg action should be a push down and back we need to do the same here to get the tire to grab the pavement. I recommend using skis with brakes so you don't get going too fast when you are just starting out. You can adjust the brake as I show here and then try this bouncy knee drill. Note that I try to develop some push down and back by flexing my ankle, knee and hip. Also notice how my posture has changed from upright to more forward. If you have success with this bouncy knee drill then try the coffee cup drill which I created a few years ago. I'll post a link in the description below to the full video on this drill. Notice how I raise my opposite hand to my mouth as I do the bouncy knee drill and this gets my body weight over the gliding ski. When we stride we want to ski from ski to ski as I show here and the bouncy knee and coffee cup drills are stages in the learning progression. Other drills for developing balance on a single ski are the scooter drill or the scooter drill with both skis on. I really like the scooter drill with both skis on since with these roller skis you can adjust the brake to give you more glide or more grip on each ski so you can keep your speed under control and learn how to develop the one footed balance needed to glide. Note in this drill how once I have pushed off I bring my hips forward and glide on a slightly straighter leg. By practicing these drills you can begin to stride from ski to ski as I show here leaving the shuffle and the lunge behind for good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with skiers you think might benefit. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so.